Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about <coughs> daily stock market update and we will figure out is it stock market building a top what's going on with the stock market world on a daily time frame looks like bullish on the top and it's and it, it's building top and it wants to go bearish let's do technical analysis review and we will figure out what's going on bull trap is over let's see as usually let's move to five rules of risk management please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful now it's a time for trading view stock market crypt stock market heat map my name is Vadik and let's start from stock market heat map right stock market heat map all USA based on all USA companies market cap and daily performance looks like a lot a lot of red right a lot of red just nvidia apple and just few companies green just exactly few google apple nvidia right but generally nvidia again plus three four percent tesla minus tesla still negative okay let's move to yeah still a lot of red a lot of blood right let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review if you want to learn more about trading view setup just go to the description there is the link about trading view setup trainings and other links about all my trainings now let me briefly mention about my setup i'm using simple moving averages white line sma 200 purple line sma 100 blue line sma 50 yellow line sma 20 red line sma 10 green line sma 5 buy and sell script indicator below yellow line rsi line and heikonachi bars indicators that's all very simple it's not easy because emotions involved if you follow the indicators you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions like on my chart look at that red circle it's a sell signal sma5 green line did bearish crossover over red line bars move below sma5 it was bearish trend when, as, when bars move above SMA5, SMA5 green line did bullish crossover over red line. When bars move above SMA5, it was bullish trend. And it is still bullish because last bar still above SMA5, even above all moving averages. You see SMA5 and 10 did bullish crossover over 200. It is very positive bullish setup. At the same time, SMA 20 yellow line ready for bullish crossover it is bullish setup you see here when it did bearish crossover it was bearish setup when it's bullish crossover it's a bullish setup you see yellow line uptrend it's a bullish when yellow line was downtrend it was bearish very very simple it's a dxy usa dollar usa dollar bullish it means bearish for equities and indexes now let's move to queues let's see queues queues you see top market top market and rsi has bearish divergences multiple bearish divergences on daily time frame still top market four hours time frame you, yeah queues today is flat four hours time frame similar story bearish divergences multiple bearish divergences bullish trend for one hour time frame it did kind of after the nice bull run it did bearish reversal and today it did kind of bounce yeah still it's forming the top right it's forming the top double top and it wants to have correction so far trend is bullish VXN volatility index for NASDAQ still above SMA 20 it is in a bullish territory it is bearish for Qs SPX S&P 500 daily also bullish trend price action is uptrend let me delete this bar this lines it's from the large time frames let's see from this point right bearish divergences multiple bearish divergences and price action is bullish right bullish trend 
bearish divergences. Divergences is not a, a signal. Bearish divergence is a condition of the market. The market wants to go bearish, but signal we should get from SMA5. So far, no bearish reversal signal. For our time frame, similar story, bullish trend, bearish divergences, multiple bearish divergences on RSI. One hour time frame, same story after the sell off, bearish reversal, it did bounce. That's a, yeah, another bull trap. Bearish divergences on all indicators. Another side, right? Now let's move to VIX. VIX is negative minus 1%. Let's see. VIX still last bar above SMA20, still bullish reversal signal. It is bearish for SMP. Dow Jones minus half percent. Let's see. Dow Jones minus half percent also building the top. Now let me remove the large lines and create a fresh line from the smaller time frame. Now it's a daily time frame. What we observe bearish multiple bearish divergences on the RSI line. Bullish trend. Four hours time frame, similar story, price action is bullish, bearish divergences on all, indi on all indicators. One hour time frame, it did bearish reversal sell signal, SMA5 did bearish crossover, it did touch the SMA50 like it did here, and it did bounce from SMA50. Will it continue bullish or it will be rejected from SMA20? It is a question. So far, after the sell off, it did bounce and bearish divergence is on RSI still in place. Russell 2000 minus three quarter percent. Let's see. Daily time frame, last bar below SMA 20, below yellow line. It stopped at SMA 50 blue line. Blue line could be strong support, it can bounce from it like it did over here, but trend is still bearish. Four hours time frame, last bar at SMA 100 level, SMA 100 level purple line, it can bounce from it, but so far trend is bearish. And one hour time frame for for IWM, only one index that's negative, right? IWM, Russell 2000. He used an S&P 500, Dow Jones, they do all time new highs, eh, almost every day, still bullish, still bullish trend, but IWM in the bearish trend. On one hour time frame, IWM did huge sell off, gap down and did kind of four, five hours in a row, we did bearish, bullish reversal. Still below 20 in the bearish territory, but signal is bullish. RVX, Russell 2000, let's see. Volatility index, still positive bullish, it is bearish for Russell 2000. Apple today plus one and a half percent, you see. It did bounce, it did touch last Friday, it did touch the SMA 200, and it did bounce on Friday, and it did bounce today. It filled, it filled already the gap, it was a gap, I told you on Monday it should fill the gap. And today it touched SMA20 yellow line and could be rejection from SMA20. So far, yeah, positive signal, but we'll see how it will handle it. Four hours time frame, SMA5 did bullish crossover over 10, bullish reversal signal. Fill the gap. Let me delete this gap. No more gap. It's in a bullish reversal, but didn't didn't make it. So far, still below 20, below yellow line, didn't make bullish crossover. But are a sign Hikanachi did bullish crossover, right? One hour time frame. Bullish crossover SMA5 and 10 did over 20. 
and now last three bars they touched 200 and, and 50 250 and 100 strong resistance it can be rejected from this level so far it is bullish Amazon minus almost one percent right let's see bearish divergence is bullet bullish trend still yeah still bullish still last bar above all moving averages still gap below four hours time frame similar story bullish trend after the huge gap up still in the bullish trend with bearish divergences and one hour time frame sma5 with bearish crossover over 10 bearish reversal in one hour time frame nvidia plus five percent nvidia plus five percent another gap up bullish trend and bearish divergence let me let me change this line show you exactly what's going on the price action is bullish and rsi is bearish bearish divergence is right it wants to have some correction but it's condition it's a bearish reversal condition but not confirmation yet no reversal four hours time frame same bullish trend bearish reversal condition bearish divergences and one hour time frame bullish trend bearish divergences on one hour time frame also tesla <clears throat> tesla daily still bearish last bar below all moving averages bearish trend tesla has some bullish divergence it wants to bounce you see price action downtrend and rsi is uptrend it wants to bounce because it still left this gap over here it's a huge gap and this gap will be filled four hours time frame bearish trend you see it's a bullish bullish divergence on rsi one hour time frame bearish trend last bar still below sma 20 and bullish divergences on rsi you see below that's what we observe for tesla tesla still negative still last bar below sma 10 and 20. microsoft tesla minus 3.3 percent microsoft minus 1.3 percent bullish trend nice gap up in a nice uh, nice bounce from sma 10 bullish reversal yeah bull bull looks like it's building bull trap similar story right you see bearish divergence on rsi bearish divergence and price action is like this one bullish trend with bearish divergences daily four hours bullish trend bearish divergences on rsi <coughs> and one hour time frame it did bearish reversal as ma5 did bearish crossover over 10 and macd and hikanachi did bearish crossover also bearish reversal signal baba alibaba group today very positive it was every day negative today is very positive it did touch 20 and it did bounce from 20 right bounce from sma 20 from yellow line four hours time frame for baba bounce it's last bar above all moving averages bullish trend and one hour time frame same bullish trend no any reversal that's all that's all from my side 10 years versus two years i yield
it did bounce from SMA 50 today it's positive because dollar is positive and market should be negative that's what it says it says it wants to bounce same like dollar did uh, yeah it, it did 12 percent bounce today right okay looks like the market is building top right building top because all indexes except iwm they have they have top they build they're building the top and they have bearish divergences on all indicators on all time frames it means they want to have correction they didn't have correction for a long time and now they want to have correction that's what we are observing on the market be careful it it's on the top but it, some some event can can do bearish reversal that's all from my side let's move to disclaimer I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purposes, we are using Paper Trading Simulator. Thank you for watching Simple Trading Style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.